are those droid cars? Master, destroy us! Captain, we can do it. We can modify the transporters. Excellent. It'll take 15 years and a research team of 100. A look at the reality is these are supermen we know nothing about. Why did we kick your ass? If anyone can stop Joe, it's Satan. Evil master of disguises. Satan. There's no end to his surprises. Satan. Sartan has an evil plan just for G.I. Joe! Hello, you action figure enthusiasts out there. JC here, and welcome to the January 24th, 2024 edition of TNI News. Now, we've got a lot of news to cover today, but just real quick before we get into that, I just want to shoot out a reminder to you guys that if you are new to this channel, Please think about hitting that subscribe button. Yeah, I'd really appreciate if you consider doing that. Also hit the bell notification. That way you're alerted every time I upload a new video so you can stay on top of all the latest action figure news as it happens. Now, as I mentioned, we've got a lot of news today, so let's jump right into it. So let's start things off with a little bit of news on the McFarland toy front. So first of all, that new Dark Knight Skydive Batman figure that I talked about previously is now available for pre-order. You can get it at places like our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. It is also available on Amazon, and last time I checked, it was still available at all three places. So this figure is either, it was either, uh, you know, people ordered more of these or it's just not as popular as the Ben Affleck Batman figure from last week. Though, as I mentioned on Monday, that figure will be made available again, even though it sold out very quickly, it will be made available again to those who missed out later on in March when the figure sees actual release. But as for this skydive Batman figure, which includes the back piece along with the gun that he used and the, the bomb that, you know, attached the sticky bomb that attached to the sky, uh, skyscraper window in, in that scene from the Dark Knight movie. So um, all that's included. You don't get a mask with this one. It is just the unmasked head. And I'll let you decide whether you think it actually looks like the actor or not. Um, but again, that figure is available now. The cost of it is $22.99. So same price as the Ben Affleck figure last week. And as I mentioned, uh, last time I checked, it was still available pretty much everywhere that's carrying this one. Now that's not the only Dark Knight item that went up for pre-order today. So if you caught my short video yesterday, I talked about this. And let me know what you think about those if, if you watched my shorts yesterday. It's kind of a way of getting out breaking news without doing a full-fledged news video. So I did two of those yesterday. So if you saw those, you know, share your thoughts about them. Do you like that kind of thing in the comment section below? But anyway, we've got the new uh, Dark Knight Rises Catwoman with bat pod that went up for pre-order this is being released as a mcfarland store exclusive which means you know it has a more limited release it's going to cost you 70 bucks you get the the bat pod from the movie and then you get uh, uh the catwoman figure from the movie so um I, I will tell you that based on overseas listings there will be if you don't want to get the bat pod if you don't want to spend 70 bucks there will be a catwoman figure released Again, based on overseas listings that we've seen, just as a single release, which I believe will be released everywhere. I don't think it's going to be a store exclusive, though I can't say that 100% because actually this was this item was listed with the overseas distributors as well, but it was not listed as a gold label item, meaning it wasn't listed as an exclusive. So I don't know if this is another case where uh, the retailers backed out on it, and so McFarland ended up offering it exclusively on his own site or what, I don't know. But I'm thinking the single release Catwoman probably will be carried at general retail. So that one will probably cost around $23. So again, if you don't want to spend the 70 bucks or you're not interested in the Bat Pod, you might want to wait on this one. But if you want the Bat Pod or you don't care about spending 70 bucks, then again, this one is available on the McFarland store. You can also buy, buy it in a bundle with the, the, the Skydive Batman if you want. Of course, you've got the hefty shifting prices off the McFarland store as well, which you'll have to deal with. But as I said, it, it, if price or bat pods just not something you're interested in, I, I'd recommend that you wait for just the single release of Catwoman. 
Now, sticking with DC Comics, we have a new Mafex figure uh, based on the return of Superman Superboy, which is my favorite version of the Superboy character. So this is one I'm definitely interested in getting. I don't get a lot of the Mafex stuff myself. I did get the Azrael Batman, you know, the, the Azbat uh, Batman from Nightfall for, for Mafex, but I don't get a lot of Mafex. But this one is one I'm definitely eyeing. Uh, McFarlane kind of dropped the ball when they didn't include his sunglasses. This one does have sunglasses. You get three different head sculpts, two without the glasses and one with the glasses. This does have a removable soft goods jacket, which at least in these images doesn't look too bad to me. Um, I'm not usually a huge fan of soft goods, but here again, on the based on these images, the, the jacket actually looks pretty good. And it does have the Superman symbol on the back of the jacket. So you can have the jacket on or off. You can have the glasses on or off. There isn't like a separate pair of glasses to take off. But again, you have the multiple head sculpts. You've got multiple pairs of hands. You also get a flight stand like you always do with the Mafex stuff. Now this one has a hefty price tag like you would expect for a Mafex figure. It's going to cost you about a hundred bucks. It is available for pre-order now at our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store. And in keeping it with Mafex, we also had a new Marvel figure go up for pre-order this week. The Stealth Armor Iron Man figure, which is a repaint of that classic Iron Man armor, which is what it was in the comics and everything. So no biggie there. But, but with this one, you get uh, what is said to be four different headpieces. But honestly... This is kind of a stretch to me. One is listed as a neutral and the other, or I should say two are listed as neutral. You get you get the helmet with the red eyes and red mouth, and then you get a helmet where you can see actual Stark's pupils through the helmet. Um, and you get two versions of each of those, so a total of four. But one is listed as neutral, and the other is listed as happy face. And, and you can see a little bit of difference in the face plates themselves, but I wouldn't necessarily call it happy. Um, seems kind of weird to me. I, I would be fine with just the two head sculpts of the two neutral ones, I guess, uh, for me, but I don't know. Maybe maybe that's something that would interest you. You also get uh, um, repulsor effect pieces, of course. You get a flight stand, so the typical things that you would see with a Mafex figure. So this one, again, is gonna cost you, it's gonna cost you $99.99. And like with uh, the Superboy figure, it is currently available and you can get it at places like our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store. Jumping back into DC Comics, we have a new figure for the 112 Collective line from Mezco that was just announced today, went up for pre-order today. It wasn't just announced because we'd seen a preview for this one before, but it did go up for pre-order today. You can get it at places like our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth. You can also get it off of the Mezco uh, web store if you want. The cost of this figure is 90 bucks. It is a Golden Age Robin figure. So this figure is going to come with uh, three different head sculpts, multiple uh, pairs of hands. You're also going to get things like handcuffs, his batarangs, some punch effects, things like that. So, you know, chalked with a lot of accessories like you would expect from 112 Collective and Mezco. Um, again, Golden Age Robin, which is available for pre-order now. Uh, this is supposed to be released in August of this year. Now let's stay with DC and let's jump back into McFarland. So I wanted to share this new, uh, these new product listings that popped up from overseas distributors yesterday. So, you know, while these have not been officially confirmed by McFarland Toys, you know, nine times out of 10, in fact, I'd even almost say 10 out of 10, these end up being, you know, true. But until McFarland does officially confirm these, we will consider them rumor. I'm not going to read down every figure on the list, but some of the ones that jumped out to me, uh, Ambush Bug, uh, so that's a gold label figure, which means it will be some type of store ex exclusive, but kind of an obscure character. So interesting to see that is coming. Um, a new Nightfall Bane versus Batman 2-pack, so we'll have to see how that Bane differs from the previous Banes that we've gotten. Um, we are getting uh, the Tumblr from the Dark Knight movies with a Lucius Fox figure. Now that is another gold label label listing that might be released exclusively on the McFarland store which means it probably will have a hefty price tag I'm assuming it's going to be you know the black Batmobile version not the Desert Storm version that we first saw in the movie um, that's an assumption on my part but but again the Tumblr from the Dark Knight movies is coming with a Lucius Fox figure Morgan Freeman which I believe this is the first time we've ever gotten a Lucius Fox figure 
So, um, you know, if you're into the Dark Knight stuff, you'll probably want to add that to your collection. Though, again, like I said, being a gold label, unfortunately, that means, especially if it is a McFarland store exclusive, it will have a hefty price tag. Maybe it'll be exclusive to Amazon. You know, Amazon had huge success with the 89 Batmobile. So, you know, it might be like an Amazon exclusive, which would probably lower the price some. We are uh, also getting, you'll notice a listing for the Joker Mobile from Batman Animated Series. Now, you may recall back in 2017, DC Collectibles was going to do a Batman the Animated Series Joker Mobile. And then, you know, basically DC Collectibles ended up closing their doors and it never got released. But it looks like Todd McFarlane, I'm, I'm guessing that's what the Todd McFarlane is basically bringing that Joker mobile that DC Collectibles was going to release back and, and actually get it out there. So I, I can't say 100%, but this is probably this image here, which was the original DC Collectible one that, that they were showing off back in 2017. And they were pretty far along in the production cycle. They had, you know, they had this on display at Toy Fair and stuff. I remember seeing it in person. So I, I believe that's what the Joker Mobile is going to be. So, you know, some pretty cool stuff. Also for like the collector edition, we're getting uh, updated comic versions of Starfire, uh, the Penguin and Captain Boomerang. So those will probably be pretty nice looking. You know, if you've want, been wanting a good comic version of Penguin, you know, I, you know, that one will probably be worth checking out. Same thing with Starfire and Captain Boomerang. Of course, those will cost, you know, those will have the higher price because they're part of the collector edition. But again, it uh, seems like quite a bit of stuff is coming from McFarlane, and this is just kind of the tip of the iceberg. You know, there will be more stuff coming in 2024 as well. But this is the latest listings that have popped up with the overseas distributors. Okay, now let's jump into Star Wars. So yesterday Hasbro had their first live stream of the new year with the Star Wars brand team. Wasn't what I would call super exciting. Um, didn't have a ton of new stuff to show. Um, and a lot of it is just what I've come to find to be pretty repetitive and, and expected with Star Wars. Clones, Rogus, Mandalorians. Um, I don't know. And I don't put all that on Hasbro per se. I, I put some of that on Disney as well. I hear a lot of stories about, you know, what it's like to, you know, work with Disney and stuff and, and, and it's not great. So I don't know, but you know, and maybe, you know, maybe you guys found it more exciting than I did. I don't know. Feel free to let me know in the comment section, but you know, it was like one figure that was announced yesterday that I will probably buy and everything else was pretty much for me. It was an easy pass. But let's get into it. Let's go over everything that was was announced yesterday. So first of all, um, if you back the Ghost uh, HasLab last year, this these two figures will probably interest you. These are the two remaining uh, figures of the Rebels crew uh, that were not included with the Ghost. So you have to pay extra for these. Um, it is the Sabine and Chopper figures. Um, with those, uh, you know, card backs with the art from the cartoon, you know, that Sabine had drawn and everything. So the mural art, as they call it. So um, those two figures are now available for pre-order on the Hasbro Pulse website. This is a timed pre-order, so you have until February 14th, Valentine's Day, to pre-order these. Um, again, off of Hasbro Pulse. These are only being offered through Hasbro Pulse and, and nowhere else. Um, again, uh, this is primarily going to appeal to those who back the HasLab Ghost vehicle. The two figures are going to cost you, it's essentially being sold as, as a set, and the two figures is going to cost you $49.99, so 50 bucks. So, um, and again, the pre-orders will stay open until uh, Valentine's Day. Now, if you live in an area where Hasbro Pulse is not available, then you'll want to check out whatever retailer that you use to back or buy the the ghost vehicle they should be offering these figures as well um so again uh 49.99 to get those two figures which i would imagine most people who spent the money to back the ghost will want these two figures to add to their collection now keeping it with vintage collection we had a bunch of figures go up for pre-order today these are available at places like our sponsor big bad toy store and entertainment earth they are available for pre-order now so these are basically, I don't know if you want to call them reissues, refreshes, uh, I don't know, but these are all characters that we've gotten before in the Vintage Collection line, but we're getting again. Um, we're getting a new Captain Rex figure. We're getting a new Luke Skywalker and X-Wing pilot figure. We're getting another Grogu with his, you know, floating crib. He's also going to come with the chainmail armor. 
Um, we're getting uh, Axe Woves and the Mandalorian Fleet Commander, which I think we've gotten before. And then finally, we're getting a new Mandalorian Season 3 figure with the Soft Goods cape. And then we had three Black Series reveals, and this is uh, where... Uh, to me, probably the best reveal of the day was with the Droidica figure from the prequels. It is a deluxe figure, so it's going to cost uh, about $35. It is available for pre-order now. It does roll up, so you can have it like roll across the floor like you see in the movie. Um, again, it is a deluxe figure, but to me, that is probably the coolest reveal of the day. Then we had a Grand Admiral Thrawn from the Ahsoka live action series. So we've had the the you know cartoon version before, but now we're getting the live action version. And then the final figure was a Phase One clone, which looks pretty good. But honestly, I'm just cloned out. Uh, you know, I'm kind of sick of clones. Um, but you know, if you're into army building that kind of stuff, then that's something you'll probably want to check out. Now, those two figures were twenty four ninety nine each. The 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 new normal uh, Black Series price, so about twenty five. And then finally, for the pipeline reveals where, you know, they gave us names of figures that they will be releasing later in the year. No actual images of the figures themselves, of course. So for Retro Collection, they indicated that they're going to do more uh, prequel figures. You know, we got figures from Episode 1. Now they're going to start doing Episode 2 and 3 figures for the Retro Collection as well. So probably not too shocking to you there. Now for Vintage Collection, we're going to be getting uh, from Ahsoka the R7A7, CJ33P, and RGG1, I guess known as GG, so a set of droids. We're also going to get an HK87 figure. We're going to get the Dark Trooper released just on a single card, so not like a deluxe version, but just a regular version of the Dark Trooper. We're getting Ahsoka from the Ahsoka live action series in her white outfit. So Ahsoka the White, I guess we're calling her. And we're getting another Mandalorian figure. Uh, this one with the stolen jetpack from season three. A new Bo-Katan figure with her new uh, shoulder uh, pauldron thing. Then we're getting uh, a deluxe Cobb Vanth with the Boba Fett armor. So that rounds out your uh, vintage collection pipeline reveals. And then for Black Series pipeline reveals, we are getting a set that will include IG-12. Grogu and the Azillion. I, I forget how you say those those little droid maker guys. So that'll be a set. We're getting a Walmart exclusive Mandalorian Night Owl figure. So again, that'll be Walmart exclusive. We're getting an Amazon exclusive Star Wars Jedi Survivor 3 pack. And then we're getting a fan channel super battle droid. So just a regular super battle droid that will be offered at places like Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. And then the final pipeline reveal was for role play. It is the helmet that Moff Gideon wore at the end of Mandalorian Season 3. So that was it for your Star Wars reveals. Again, uh, pretty much everything other than the pipeline stuff went up for pre-order today. Again, it's available at places like our sponsors, Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. Be wrestling fans, we've got a look at the Mattel Creations exclusive uh, Retro Wave 5 WrestleMania 1 Hulk Hogan figure. So this was uh, this image was released by Mattel's own Steve Ozer. Now the other figures rumored to be in this wave include uh, Wendy Richter, Big John Stud, and Muhammad Ali. So again, uh, this retro uh, stuff is released as Mattel Creations exclusives. So these will be available sometime later this year on the Mattel Creations website. But right now we have a look at that Hulk Hogan figure. For you Masters of the Universe fans, we've got some new package images of that Turtles of Grayskull Shredder figure. These images come via Roy Juarez, and with these images, we get our first look at the Turtles of Grayskull Splinter. So you can see him featured here in the artwork, fighting uh, Shredder, and I'm going to guess that we will be getting a figure of Splinter at some point down the road in this line. For you Star Trek fans, we've got a look at another 1-6 scale figure coming from EXO. It's another Star Trek The Next Generation figure. It's based on Lieutenant Commander Geordi LaForge so one in the later seasons. So there are two versions of this figure that are being offered, both of which are available for pre-order at places like our sponsor Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. So there is the Standard Edition, which is actually the more expensive of the two versions that are being released. That includes the extra uh, engineer uh, toolbox, whatever you want to call it, that Jordy would carry around. That has some of his engineering tools in it. 
Then there is the Essential version, which does not have that, and that one is cheaper. So both versions come with things like his phasers, multiple pairs of hands, a tricorder, things like that. But again, there's the standard version, which is going to cost you about $230. And then there's the Essential version, which is about $189. And as I say, both of these figures are available for pre-order now. And, you know, these are pretty highly detailed 1-6 scale Star Trek figures. They definitely seem to get the likenesses pretty good with these figures. Uh, Jordy's visor is also removable on the figure. And then finally for today, I wanted to share these new images from Haya Toys for their latest G.I. Joe figure. It's of Zartan, so this is a 4-inch scale figure. Now, these G.I. Joe figures are not carried here in uh, at the U.S. retailers. Um, so, unfortunately, you cannot pre-order these at places like Big Bad Toy Store or Entertainment Earth. But someplace overseas like Robot Kingdom usually carries these. So if you want to add this one to your collection, you might want to check it out. Now, the retail price is $24.99. But then with overseas shipping and everything, it will be more expensive. But, yeah, it looks pretty good. The hood is removable, so you can have a bald Zartan. You've got the mask. You've got the backpack. You've got his gun. Um, it does not appear to have color change ability, unfortunately. So no color change ability on this one. But if you're into Zartan, G.I. Joe, 4-inch figures, you know, if you've been collecting any of the other Haya Toy stuff. And I'll be honest, Haya Toys has been, like, revealing a lot of these G.I. Joe figures. But I'm not entirely sure how many of these have actually seen release yet. I haven't seen a lot of people get their hands on these. But, you know, they definitely look pretty cool from the images. And, you know, probably will be going up for pre-order soon with overseas uh, e-tailers. Again, Robot Kingdom right off the top of my head is the best one to check out for these. Okay, so that's going to do it for today. But as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and everything I talked about down in the comments section below. If you're so inclined, please think about liking this video. It does help with the YouTube algorithm, or at least so I'm told. Also, again, just a reminder, if you are new to this channel, please think about subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. My goal is to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I'm, I'm, I'm fast approaching 65,000, so we'll have just a little over 35,000. I know it's a hefty goal to try and get to 100,000 by the end of the year, but, but that's what I'm shooting for. So if you can help out, I'd really appreciate it. Also, hit that bell notification again so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. As always, guys, stay safe out there, and until next time, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching today's video. Now, if you're new to the channel, please think about hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. For all the latest action figure news, be sure to head over to ToyNewsEye.com, MarvelousNews.com, JediInsider.com, and TFormers.com. And remember, action figures are great!